as a school? We'll start with the strengths. Anybody name and we're thinking in mindset of, of FTCC. You think of any strengths of the school? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be some some good, some, uh, good instructors. All right, there we go. Good instructors. <laughs> Anything else? We have, we have good resources, you know, like the computer lab. There we go. Good sources. Anything else? I hope you guys out. Size. It's a big school. Distance. Distance. Is that what you said? Mm -hmm. Meaning? It's convenient. It's like, okay. it's like uh, So you mean convenience? What do you mean when you say distance? <laughs> um, as far as campus lives? Campus layout. Campus layout. All right. Anything else? Somebody say convenience. Convenience. Cost. Is that cost? Cost. Yeah. Somebody say something else? All right, we'll stop there. That's pretty good. All right, what about weaknesses? Parking spaces. Parking. Yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Parking spaces. <laughs> The first week. Anything else? The, the instructors too. Instructors? Mm -hmm. She has some good, some bad. Okay. Their um, what's it called? Graduation rate is low. It is. Yeah. It's like very low. Okay. Graduation rate low. All right. Opportunities. Wait. Come, Come on. on. Okay. Never mind. You got one? No. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Opportunities. Oh, job right. placement. <laughs> job placement. You can further your education. Is that the same thing? Mm -hmm. Further education. Threat could be losing students because of the low graduation rate. Losing students. Um, what about they don't have the um, curriculum the person wants to take? All right, curriculum. Any others? Teachers can be threats, and I'm just waiting. <laughs> I'm not a threat. <laughs> Some of them will run you out of here, I swear they do. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go through these. And again, I want you guys to take good notes so that you can understand more about how the SWOT analysis works. Mm -hmm. We'll start with the strengths. Good instructors. I think that was a good one. Resources, mm -hmm. pretty good one. Size, pretty good one. Campus layout, uh, I'm on the fence. Convenience, it's a good one. Cost, it's a good one. When you're doing a SWOT analysis, you have to make sure that you're staying in the mindset of the organization. You're thinking in terms of the organization. You're not thinking in terms of the students. You're not thinking in terms of the, the faculty, the staff. You're thinking in terms of the organization and what characteristics about the organization are strong or weak or a threat. 
campus layout, I don't really know how in the mindset of the organization how that it could be a strength, but it's just not a strong one. So I'm not gonna put a check by that. All the rest of them were pretty good because these are all things that are a good characteristic of the organization. Maybe if you put uh, handicapped accessible instead of the layout. Because it's pretty good for the handicapped around here. Well, that in itself, yeah. the, the what you just said, what we might put is special pops. That would be a strength because that means that this organization um, does a great job at catering to, catering to special populations. So that would be a strength more so than the layout. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. All right, so if we go to weaknesses, parking spaces, and in terms of organization, not really a weakness. To a student, that might look like a weakness, but if we're thinking in the mindset of an yeah, organization, you know, the that's spaces. not necessarily a weakness. <laughs> Instructors, that might be a weakness because they are a characteristic of the school and they could make or break the school, so, potentially. I didn't mean to no so for a weakness, like, if you're thinking of organization, if they're putting out more money for like everything they're doing and not bringing in enough money, like so we, enough students to So them. you're saying that financial might be a weakness, yeah. if I understand you correctly. Yeah. And that would be a weakness. Uh, you, again, you have to make sure you stay in the mindset of the organization and what things might make the organization weak or what about the organization right now might be weak. Graduation rate was a great one. I'm gonna put two checks because that's a, a, an important weakness. If people aren't graduating, we might not be able to stay open. Our, our mission is to provide education to students you know, so that they can graduate. That's the end goal. So if they're not graduating, why are we still existing, right? So that was a good weakness. <laughs> now that we've talked about this a little bit more, can you think of any more weaknesses? What about grades? If the student grades are low or retention, students aren't passing classes or they, they, they are here for five years, those types of things are all organizational weaknesses. They're all related to the school and, and school success, right? Opportunities. I feel like the opportunities that you all mentioned were more in the mindset of the students again, and they weren't in the mindset of the organization as a whole, FTCC. Expanding the campus? Yes. Okay. Expansion would be an example of an opportunity. This is a huge campus. You know, if, if we still had land, this is an example of an opportunity. Before this building was here, it was just, I don't know, grass, trees, rubble. Mm -hmm. And they, you know, took use of this vacant land to build a new building. So that was an opportunity that they capitalized on. So right, expansion is a good example of an opportunity. You might even think of the satellite campuses like Spring Lake and growing those campuses as another opportunity for the organization. <laughs> um, you think of any other ones? Attracting more students. We also say the same population. Growing, growing the population? Yeah. Okay. So growing student pop. Now remember that opportunity may not just be for the school alone, like one that I'm thinking of is relationships. So an opportunity, an example of an opportunity may be a relationship with Methodist or another school. Because if, again, going back to the mission, if our mission is to educate students and assist them with graduation and, and you know, furthering their careers, if we create relationships with other schools in the area that's going to help benefit our students, 
we're still in line with our mission, right? So that's another type of opportunity. Did you know? They have um, now the high schoolers can come in and get the college um, credits. I can't think of the program, but but yeah, that's a good example. What we're doing here is we're educating and we're increasing the likelihood that they may go ahead and come up here. Right. So definitely, that's an opportunity. Think of any other ones? We started to get somewhere. Our list was a little short. We grew it, so. All right, um, let's go to threats. Well, these are good. These are other schools. They could potentially take our students. Students could decide to go to these schools instead of coming here for two years. Location. Location could be a threat depending on, you know, we kind of talked about what you don't want to do is contradict yourself. Because here in Strengths, we talked about it being convenient. So you don't want to say it's convenient here and then come down here to the threats and say the location is a threat. You kind of got to pick which one you want to, uh, where you want to put it. So are we agreeing that it's convenient or it's not convenient? It's convenient because they have satellite campuses. So we want to. To make it more convenient for students that live further away. We'll just cross it out. All right, losing students. It's a good threat. We can lose students because they could just drop out, or we can lose them to other schools, right? Either way, it's a threat. It's, it's harmful to our organization. Um, curriculum. Who said curriculum? You did. Expand a little bit more on that one. Um, say we don't have the program they want to go into. There we go. Can I pause you one, one minute? Mm -hmm. You think that's a threat or is that a weakness? A weakness. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So it was a good one though. But I'm just going to draw an arrow up here. That one was tricky because, you know, that there, there may be some of these where it may kind of be difficult to determine where it should fall. That's kind of one of them. Because I can also see that as a threat. Yeah. But I think it's better you know, listed here on the weakness. So now going through this, does it make a little bit more sense as to how you look at it? I think the most important thing that I want to relate to you all is to remember to keep the organization mindset rather than looking at it as a, a student or a faculty. You want to think through the lenses of the organization. As, um, as you can see, we pretty much filled out every square. And, and this, this type of analysis, you can apply to anything. You know, we could apl apply to any business or any organization. I've had students that said that they've applied, they've done more for themselves personally, um, kind of looked at their own strengths and their own weaknesses and their own opportunities. So it's a good type of a tool to use when you're just trying to analyze something. It doesn't necessarily have to be a business, but a lot of businesses do use this during their strategic planning process. Most businesses will use this during their strategic planning process. It's a good starting point. And then from here is where you develop the plan. For instance, if we look at our opportunities and we looked at this one, expansion, we might decide, all right, we're going to create a strategic plan on expansion alone, and that's it. And we're going to create a plan to expand the campus, or we're going to build this general classroom building. So once you uh, create this analysis, from here, you proceed on to developing your, your strategic plan and then your subsequent other plans, your marketing and facilities and all that stuff. But you should always start here. And it's important to remember that again, when you're even when you're creating this, you still should be thinking in terms of the organization, mission, vision, and values. And that'll help you put this together. Because um, if your mission is to provide you know, high quality education to students, it'll be a lot easier for you to figure out what's preventing us from providing that. And you'll be able to determine those are your threats. Whether that be, you know, Fayetteville State is preventing us from achieving our mission or students dropping out are preventing us from obtaining our mission. So you always want to keep the organization, mission, vision, and values in the back of your mind when you're doing this. I went kind of fast through that. So does anybody have any questions? Uh, this is a very important concept, which is why I wanted to take the time in class to go over one. Um, 
with you guys so that you kind of understand how it works. Because I know just reading it in a book is probably not that clear. Everybody cool? All right. That's all I have for today. Oh, yes, ma'am. I have a question on the writing assignment at the bottom. It says any papers over a thousand words will receive a reduction in grade. That's supposed to be papers.